Hey, it's Anon What's RC, and this is another video about divination. So, as you can see right there, I'm now level 90 in divination and I'm training at the desert place. Um, so, it's pretty much the same thing than before, except that it's in a desert, and when I click, it's actually a luminous spring. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, with the desert, there are skull things different. Um, first, you need to have an enchanted water terra, so you don't die in the desert. You can obtain it after completing the quest dealing with scarabs, or you can use humidify um, to fill up your water skins. But personally, I got a cum cake. Well, not anymore, but I used to have one, so I've completed all the quests, so I can use the enchanted water um, terra. Another thing that's different is with the, um, the fragments aka um, orange balls right there so it's not worth it to turn them in anymore so to get the divination experience from them obviously it's still worth it to collect them for the hunter experience a really awesome hunter experience but i mean this place is too freaking isolated and retarded <laughs> i mean it's such a freaking strange place but divination to be honest there's n no point I don't even know if this location was before, existed before Divination came out. I mean, such a waste of time to make it. Nobody really goes there, but anyway. Um, I guess that's pretty much it about what's going on with Divination. And what I want to talk about in this video is um, about the economy or ways to train Divination. So as you probably already know, there are three main ways to train Divination. First, you can buy the energies to get more profit. You can sell the energies to make profit. Uh, well, you can buy to get more experience. You can sell to make money. Or you can simply use your own energies. So make no profit, no loss, and get experience between the two. Um, so there are many different opinions about what's the best way to train. But personally, uh, what I think is that it's not really opinion based it's more about the maths behind it because there's experience per hour there's gp per hours you simply compare the methods depending on the gp profit you can make with your best way to make profit and you have the best results so in my opinion it's not based on other people opinions kind of funny to say it that way but yeah so i've done all the maths about um comparing the different methods and i want to show you guys um the results so you can train the best way possible. So as I've just said, there are three main ways to train divination. You can sell, buy, or use your own with different experience and profit per hour. If your goal is one million experience, well, for those who are new to this, this is usually the way I compare methods. I set a goal and then I compare and check the breakpoints between the methods. So yeah, all those calculations assume that you can make 3.6k energy per hour and you can buy or sell them for 1k GP each. Um, so what's important are the breakpoints. So if you compare selling versus buying, you will actually lose 2.2 mi um, hours to save 74 million GP. So this means that the breakpoint is 33.6 million GP. So long story short, if you make less than 33.6 million GP per hour, it's better to sell the energies because it's worth it to waste 2.2 hours to save 74 million GPs. Otherwise, it's better to buy. Now, if you compare sellings versus using your own, then it's 34.3 million GP, so it's even worse. And finally, buying versus owning, um, using your own is 32.5 million GP. So long story short, what those results say is that if you make less than 33.6 million GP, sell, otherwise buy and never use your own energies because they cannot possibly be the best way to train. It might sound kind of weird, but it's kind of normal at the same time because energies, you can consider them as a service. And when you do a service, um, either you do it because it's the best way to make profit, you do it for someone, or otherwise you buy the service from other people. It's never the best thing to do the service for yourself. It's like in the middle of uh, the two. If it's more, then you sell, otherwise you buy from another player. Um, another thing 
why you shouldn't use your own energy is because the price change. So even if your goal with divination is to make um, no profit and no loss, it's still worth it to sell the energies when you're you first arrive to the location. For example, I will sell all my energy, all my energies for two k each, and then later, maybe a couple days later, I will buy energy for one k each. So two times more energy, so two times more experience from the energies, and you're still making no profit or no loss. So. Um, Obviously, all my calculation assume that, um, well, actually don't assume the fact that the price of the energy will change over time. And the fact, well, price changing is not really a big deal. It's more that if you're in the first um, place, like um, if you are one of the few first to get 95, then it's actually a lot of profit. So maybe it's worth to spend money in order to be in the first 95 and make a lot of profit when you reach it other than simply selling and making no not a lot of experience so being stuck at the lower level tier where the energy will worth a lot less and obviously it doesn't take into account uh, the fact that you will be proud to be one of the first few guys with 99's nation um so i'll show you guys the mats for last time i don't know if i explained it very well it's kind of hard to say it but anyway, I will put more detail in the description if you guys have more questions. And um, that's pretty much it. So see ya.